Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about HTTP status codes. So we have this comment here from LifeCats that says, do you know about the 418 HTTP code? I do, but I also wanna tell you all about it for anybody that doesn't know. Um, so first of all, what's an HTTP status code? So let's look on Wikipedia, HTTP status code. I think we'll, will that find it? Hey, look at this, <laughs> there's a Wikipedia page. So HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol. It's basically how the web works. Jelly Woot! Thousand bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so it's it's how the web works. Um, uh, whenever you go to a website, like if I go to uh, duckduckgo.com, that is an HTTP GET request to retrieve this web page and load it in my browser. Um, and there are uh, basically. HTTP servers can use statuses to tell the client, the thing making the request, if things were successful or not. So uh, in this scenario, we requested the home page. It's most likely a 200 status code, meaning that it was good. It also could be like a 301 or a 302, which is a redirect, um, or a 304, which is that it should be served from the cache. But I'll show you this. If you right click the page and click uh, inspect element, that's going to bring up the dev tools. Uh, and then if you click on network, you can actually watch all of the network requests that happen. So if I refresh this page, we can see the very first request, if we scroll all the way to the top, the very first request is responded with the 200 status code because DuckDuckGo, the DuckDuckGo server is like, hey, everything's okay. Here's the response. Uh, however, if you do something that uh, it cannot find, you're going to get a different status code. Uh, who can tell me in the chat, what is the status code for something that is not found? First one, who's going to be the first one? <laughs> 404, jive off, you got it. <laughs> so you might have heard this before, like 404, not found. That's the status code that the server responds with. So let's see what we get here. That actually just searches. <laughs> it's probably really hard to get a 404. That literally just made a search. So like technically, uh, that was not a 404. That was a response from the server. Um, Let's go to uh, discord uh, app.com slash whack. 404. Um, but if we actually look at the network tag uh, tab, you're going to see that, look at this. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, too, it's too much, but this. Status code 404 not found. So status codes are what servers use to communicate some uh, certain statuses. Now, back to status code 418. Uh, status code 418 was actually an April Fool's joke from the 90s. Um, uh, let's just search Dr. Go for it. 418 status code. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Rob. Um, 418, I'm a teapot. So in, uh, in, in the, let's see when it was. Let's see what the actual year, year was. Um, 418, 1998. So this was actually an April Fool's joke that actually got put into an RFC, which is uh, like a specification. Um, for status codes. And the 418 status code is I'm a teapot. And the reason a client would receive this status code is if they make an HTTP request to an internet connected teapot, if they make a request asking it to brew coffee, that, that teapot will respond, I'm a teapot, I cannot brew coffee. So it will respond with a 418 status code. Um, it's actually an April Fool's joke, but it's still there. Um, and it's actually in the specification, which is funny. Um, but I'll also show you, there are so many different status codes, like 404 not found is really common. 200 is success, 401 unauthorized. All of these are different status codes that you can use. Uh, I don't know if they, do they have 420 on here. So 420, yeah. So on Twitter used to do this. Twitter doesn't do this anymore, but, uh, the, the standard response would be 429 if you made too many requests to a server. Uh, that's uh, like a rate limit. Um, but for a while, they actually responded with status code 420 that was, whoa, dude, enhance your calm. <laughs> Stop making so many requests. That's also like a funny little joke. Uh, yeah, and then uh, some. I'll leave you with some nice things. So there's http.cat. This is a really fun website where you can just request any status code and you get a picture of a cat. So if you do like slash 418, you're going to get a cat in a teapot. <laughs> or if you do 404, you'll get a cat that is not found. Um, or if you do uh, 401, you'll get an unauthorized cat, cannot enter. Uh, so HTTP cat is cool. And then there's uh, HTTP status, I think. If it's not, somebody should make that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, in this, uh, this is actually a service you can use for generating status codes. So if you're like testing an HTTP client and you need to see a 200 status code, you could make a request here and it actually responds with the 200 status code. So like if I do this, we should see 
uh, status code, 200, great. But if I do like uh, 418, look at this, status code, 418. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between 401 and 403? So 401 is um, you are not authorized. Um, hey, Jellywoo, thank you for those bits. <laughs> but uh, so it means that you're making a request that you don't have access to. Um, forbidden is like you're trying you you technically potentially have access to other things, but you don't have access to this one thing that you were trying to request. The thing about status codes is it's really up to the server to set those status codes. And if you're writing an HTTP server, you get to decide what status codes you want to respond with. Um, there's probably a Stack Overflow out there that, that tells you what's the better status code to respond with. Oh, well, that's it. That's this video on HTTP status codes. Um, thank you all for participating in that hype train. And thank you all for, for watching and being here. Everyone say bye, YouTube. We can wave. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> bye. See you later.